Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to Liu Live Everything in Wonder. We are Luca, Luce, and Sara. In the previous episodes, uh, we have been searching uh, for a new vehicle to travel with. Uh, we went all around Europe, uh, and then we finally found uh, this uh, Mercedes Sprinter that almost checks all the boxes, uh, and we bought it. You have been asking uh, how much did you pay for it and at the end of today's episode we will reveal how much did we pay. Now we are back home at Luckyland, our little house in the mountains in the north of Italy and finally we have time to check if everything is working and we will start loading our next expedition vehicle to travel south of Italy. So let's get into it. Luca is finally back on his feet. Thank you so much, guys, for all the beautiful messages of encouragement, tips, suggestions, healing thoughts and prayers. Thank you so much. It was really, really, really important to us. And finally, now we can check everything together and we will do everything very slowly because Luca needs to take his time to heal properly. But as I mentioned before, we didn't have the time to check everything in the van, the water, the propane, the water tanks, and if the heater is working, if the stove is working. So today this is our job. We will start loading the van and getting ready for our next adventure. So it's very... It's very exciting, it's very exciting. We can't wait to do this. Last week was probably the worst week of my life. The pain and uh, the, the dark uh, um, places where my mind uh, brought me because of the pain uh, was really, really bad. And um, I have uh, two herniated discs uh, in my cervical and two herniated discs uh, in my lumbar. And um, the pain was so intense that I, I, I had really bad he headache and I have nausea, I, I vomit a few times uh, and uh, now it's day 8 of the injections that I've been uh, taking twice a day and uh, finally I can see the, the light out of the tun tunnel, I can stand up, uh, I can sit uh, that uh, I couldn't do it till a few, few days ago. Um, slowly, slowly uh, moving myself uh, and uh, standing up uh, and uh, trying to get to my normal life. Uh, I know it will take a lot of time, I will need to do a lot of uh, exercise and uh, rehabilitation after this, but um, I'm happy that uh, now I can at least stand up, talk uh, and uh, I'm not in such a pain I was. Uh, I, w I would like to make a huge shout out to, to Sara for the amazing job. Uh, she's a superwoman uh, taking care of me, of Luce, of the house uh, and uh, even being able to film uh, and edit an amazing video. She did uh, an awesome job on the uh, on the last episode. I'm still a little bit emotional and for the, 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 the past week uh, it was hard and intense but I don't know I don't know if it's uh, because uh, all the sports uh, of what I did uh, when I was younger or if it's uh, genetical like my mother uh, she has already problems uh, with uh, her herniated discs uh, in the cervical and uh, other parts of the, the colon and um, I don't know if it's that or it's the high stress uh, that uh, I've been uh, experiencing for the past year for many reasons that probably I will be explaining next year when uh, hopefully everything will be finished and done but uh, I don't know being uh, able to think that we finally have a van and that we can travel and uh, um, this could be one of the 
happiest moments of our lives. Um, probably my adrenaline and my stress uh, went away for a, a little bit and uh, doing so my my muscles or my body reacted this way I have no idea but uh, I'm ex super excited to start working and exploring and checking everything in this van and hopefully soon hit the road as soon as possible I really need it we really need it so now we will start uh, filling up the water tank uh, so we can check uh, if the water pump is working, uh, if the lines are okay or if there are any leaks. Uh, we will be filling up the tank from here. So we will move the van uh, up there to the hose uh, at the house. And uh, after checking uh, all the lines, uh, we can see if the heater is working, if it's heating also the hot water. Lucha loves to sleep outdoors and to just relax with the sound of the birds and with some fresh air. Today is also a very beautiful October day. It seems spring and not fall. But starting from tomorrow the forecast is rain. So we were supposed to drive to Puglia in Sicily September, October in our plans. But now it will be end of October, if not November and December. So we will probably need to take with us more clothes because some days could be like summer days and some days could be very cold. We have to be prepared. It's full. Okay, so let's turn the pump on. I can hear the pump. Yeah. It's filling up something. should turn off at some point this is, you can see the fresh water mm -hmm. it's completely full okay the gray water is completely empty the previous owner emptied uh, all the water tanks and the water lines uh, because uh, this van uh, was staying outside during the winter so in order to do not freeze anything he emptied everything so now we are filling up uh, everything back again to check if it's, there are some leaks, uh, if everything is working and the pump just finished pumping uh -huh. so it means that the lines are okay, there are no leaks uh, and uh, we can see wow. there is a lot of pressure That's great. there is water Ooh. there is water everywhere <gasps> okay, close the water outside okay, so first bed news of the day it's leaking guys it's leaking water everywhere not good i can hear the water running but it's not going away from the sink here it's not moving to remove everything from here okay. and see the pipes.
this seems like the beginning of every of our experiences with van and RVs. Same with Lucky Liu, we bought it and then the day after we discovered that Lucky Liu was rotten underneath the mattress. I think it's only yeah. here in these pipes uh, yeah. leaking. So well, it's not too bad. Yeah, we need, we need to check this pipe over here. The first rule is do not panic. It's fixable, everything is fixable, everything is, you know, it's doable. Just need to stay calm and think about a solution. We will find a solution, we will find a problem and we will fix it. We are moving now the van back into the sun. So hopefully everything will dry out again. Let's see if the leaking is just from here. I will try to close this as strong as I can. And now we will try to pour some water and see if there are some leakings from here. It seems like a little bit wet here also. Yeah, uh, that is what mm -hmm. I, I just uh, checked. Yeah. So if the water is coming from there and it's wet in this pipe, or if the, leaky, the leaks are from here. It's not leaking from the pipe. So it seems that we have water coming from there. So I need to remove all of this, yeah. see if the gasket uh, is working, mm -hmm. and uh, then put it back again. Yeah. Uh, there is a gasket actually. Yeah. It looks okay. Maybe we solved the problem. It's probably the gasket that uh, is dry, old, uh, and needs to be replaced. And another problem could be that uh, there is no air being released uh, from the gray water tank. Uh, so basically, if you don't open the gray water tank uh, and let it release, uh, it, it, it creates uh, like a pressure and the water is not going down into the gray water tank. So, so we need something that allows air to escape. And yes, so probably I will have to add a, a pipe going from the gray water tank outside in order to release the air uh, so the, the gray water can actually go inside. The leaking down here seems to be solved. From here we can see Frischwasser is um, fresh water and then up wasser is the gray water tank so i will open now the gray water tank and when you open over there you can see where it releases the water she started waving and saying ciao ciao when you say ciao ciao she waves and then she started also saying ba 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 ciao amore hello in the meantime, my husband is also fixing these hose because it's leaking. They need to be tied a little yes. bit. Uh, as you can see here, it was a little bit loose uh, mm -hmm. in a few places. That's why it was leaking. So I'm checking every place where leaks can be. I'm checking if the pump is working, if the hot water is working. I release all the air that it was in the hot water lines and uh, hot water tank and uh, in the fresh water as well you can see the pressure and the pump turn it on so now yeah. the pressure is perfect no leaks i can see that yeah no leaks anymore okay so here is where we have uh, our propane tank uh, it fits two of them so we will be probably buying one more so when this one is empty we mm -hmm. we can replace the other one i will open uh, the propane now once uh, we open the propane back there we have the three switches the first one uh, is for the stove the second one uh, is for the heater and the water heater and the third one is for the fridge the three ways fridge so now we will start from the stove Oh. 
train is working. We have fire! Okay, both of them are working. Perfect. Now we have to check the fridge. Okay. I think it's working. We we managed to turn it on. So now I will check. Uh, I will leave it on and see if it's actually working. We leave the the fridge open. Mm -hmm. The third one is for the hot water and the heater. So I have no idea how this works. We will have to try it. The hot water it's working. nice and warm so finally Sara will be able to wash dishes or wash luce with hot warm water that's fantastic beautiful Let's see if there is some ice in the freezer Ooh, yeah super cold I think it's working yeah yes the fridge is working okay so the water is fixed yes the heater is working yes fridge is working yes. hot water is working yes now now we can uh, the the closets <laughs> are dry we can uh, put it back there and then we can start uh, filling up uh, every cabinet with uh, our things yeah so we we can choose what clothes and what everything we need to bring with us yeah. we have a lot of storage places uh, we need to go through everything. every single one and uh, choose wisely where to put what do you want to check if the stroller fits Yes, we can we can do that now. Because the garage is pretty big, but I don't know what yes. can we, we can take see it us. We have to change, modify the garage and see if everything fits. Let's do that. Okay, Luce, yeah. are you ready? Yeah. Should we start? Yeah. <laughs> Let's check underneath here if it's leaking. No, it's not leaking. Not leaking anymore. Probably was just a dry gasket. We will change it anyways. Yeah, I, I cleaned the gasket uh, yeah. and uh, I tied it uh, really hard, uh, yes. so it's not leaking anymore. But uh, as soon we will hit the road, I will stop and buy new gaskets. Probably a little bit uh, thick, so and uh, being uh, new it will be a little bit softer and uh, it will prevent any kind of leak. So thicker and softer. Yes. Are you ready for van life, Luce? Are you ready for van life? <laughs> ready for van life. We have to check also Luce's car seat. But should be okay. Yes. Because we have the seat belts. And of course, Luce cannot face. Uh, no. Forwards. Even if she's facing uh, the back of the van, uh, we can put a mirror or uh, Sara can go back yes. there to check here. And uh, it's still easier than in a normal car where you cannot go back there. At least uh, on this one, you can walk yeah. there, sit there, put your seat belt, and be safe uh, back there if she wakes up. We did a selection of what we really need and now we will put it back in the cabinet. See? Would you like to help me? Would you like to have Mama and Dada? Mama, Papa, this for me? Which one? This one! Thank you! Everything we need for the kitchen, the plates, some bowls, and cutlery. cutlery. 
and then this one emergency food <laughs> um, salt oil vinegar and then our maca pot our iconic maca pot this is a 12 volt kettle we have a 12 volt just in front there are two plugs uh, one two plugs. here one over here mm -hmm. and one in here We will briefly check the storage we have in the van to see if it fits the mattress and the bed, Montessori floor bed that we built for Luce and the stroller because this is very important. This is the bed uh, where Luce is already sleeping. In our house is the Montessori bed that we built uh, for her. And uh, as you can see, it fits uh, perfectly. If you, you, if you close the door, it still has uh, a gap. A little gap here. And it, it has still a lot of space here on the side uh, where we could build uh, some closets or something for her and uh, probably cover all of this with uh, something soft. What? Do you like the idea? <laughs> ba, 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 ba. We can take with us only the mattress if we like, because it's almost the same size. But we're thinking that we probably could use the frame also when we will stop in Airbnb or whenever we stop, because our plan is to stop somewhere to do laundry and to take hot showers. We can have already Lucha's bed with us. Now, we have this off-road Inglesina stroller that it's perfect, you know, that we live in the mountains and everywhere we go here is up hills, down hills, it's, it's off-road, it's not paved. So we needed a stroller like this and we are using this every day. But the downside of having a stroller like this is the weight. This stroller is big and it's heavy, so we have to see if it fits. Yes, not only the weight, but also the size. When you fold it, uh, yes. it's still super big. Uh, so now we have to see if it fits in there. So Sara, I will need your help. You will yeah. grab Luce and I will try to fit the stroller in there. Almost. Almost, we, we need this much. If we remove the cover, as you can see, this one, it folds a little bit more. Yeah. So if I hold with my fingers and I push it in, it stays there. But do you think that we will use now the bed for Luce? Do you want to bring this with yeah, us? I don't know. Because this will take a lot of the storage of the garage away. Yes. Because it's not just about the bed. You cannot put something on top of the bed no or you ha we have to cover it but every time it's really yes we we could uh, close over here and use this part of the, the garage yeah. and leave this part close just for luce like a little room for her terrible I have to say because I almost fit inside as well and now yeah with the bed down no, with the bed down is very uncomfortable mm. Lucia wakes up uh, at least uh, two or three times every night to, yeah. to get feed so if I have really close to me it would be better I think till she would be a little bit older. Mama, mama, mama. <laughs> what do you think, Amora? I think this is will the, will be the best solution where she will be like one year or two years old. Yes, now uh, she's she's waking up. Yeah, she's waking times. up uh, too many times during and the night. And it's not not comfortable to lay down and to no. Okay. It's a no. After trying and testing uh, from inside and outside, we decided that we will bring uh, Luce's bed 
with us. Uh, it fits also down here. We will cover it uh, and we will use it only for uh, uh, places if we stop uh, for a night in our Airbnb or things like that. And um, we can use all the storage up here to bring uh, other things. And she will sleep up here with us. And uh, probably in the future, when she will be older, we will build a room just for her in here with her bed. But for now, it's too much uh, trouble. And trouble, <laughs> yes. I think this is a perfect canvas. This van is a perfect canvas for everything that we would like to yes. to dream of in the future, to build in the future, to transform in the future. But yeah, yeah as you can see here, it's full of screws so you unscrew these pieces and you can uh, it's like a puzzle you yeah. can uh, modify and do whatever you want in here so I think uh, it's what we will do in the future for now we just want to hit the road uh, she will sleep with us uh, and it will uh, be okay yes. I'm sure that will be okay yes. <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about the next subject is the high chair Tons of you suggested a booster seat, but actually we have a portable high chair that we will show you. And then what I like about our high chair is adjustable and Luce will have her, her own table. So wherever we go, even if we want to eat outside, she can have <laughs> her own table. This becomes really flat and small, you can bring with you in your car, wherever you go, if you go to a restaurant, Airbnb, a party, a friend's house, and they don't have kids, you just go there, you bring it with you, and then you will do it on your table. Yeah. You will put it like this, and then you squeeze it really hard, and it doesn't move. That's right. One and two. Yes, now we secure you using this one. And one. And two. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> like it <laughs> keep bringing my food where is my food and this is how it looks from under the table you just close this really strong we bought this used second hand before buying the van like yes. a week before just because we want to have one in case you know we travel we need we bought this van and there is like this common color in the van and the curtain and the cushion, the, the pillows, everything. They're matching. Let's it's see. this color. It's the same color. <laughs> it's exactly the same color. It matches. Verde acido, we call this in Italian. Acid, Acid green. Yeah. It's a color that I would never consider in my life. Yeah. Never. But I like it now. Do you like it, Lucia? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's okay for you? Blah, blah, blah. Luce. <laughs> and the other option is... Uh, Our stocky high chair. This chair grows with your baby. So you can adjust this for years to come. We have the tray that you can remove. I never remember how to <laughs> take it off. Okay, so she basically has uh, her own table. Let's talk about the good thing, is that uh, if you want to use it outdoors, uh, let's say Sarah and I will bring a table and two chairs and there is a beautiful space and beach out there, we can go there <laughs> and she has her own table and Sarah and I, we have our table, we can eat all together. But let's talk also about the downside. You have this huge uh, piece of wood uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's huge that you need to bring it with you. It takes a lot of space. But you know, for Aya, Cosa? was a mosquito. Yeah. 
for babies, what is really important is to sleep good and to eat good. Yeah. So I would like Lucha to be as comfortable as possible. Yes. And I think that she's used to this. And, and luckily we have a garage where we yes, can sit it. Yes, exactly. Otherwise the garage... <laughs> we can put it in the garage and bring it in. <laughs> this is our porta potty, our toilet. You put water in here and some products. Uh, and then this is a pump. You pump here, so it flash over here. You open, everything goes down there. And then when you are ready to dump it, you bring this to a bathroom and you just dump it from here into the, the bathroom or in the facilities where you can dump the black water tank. We have a place for it that is under the fridge. There is a huge room for it. Ta da! There you go. Ciao, ciao! First aid kit, very important. And we have also the fire extinguisher. Yes. Underneath. Under there. Beautiful people. I think uh, we will keep uh, loading the van tomorrow. Yeah. Unfortunately, the forecast is rain for tomorrow, but uh, luckily, I think everything we had to do outdoors, uh, back here in the garage uh, and whatever, we managed to do it today. So yeah. tomorrow we can work inside, uh, start putting all our clothes. Uh, wow, the light is pretty strong. Yeah, our light sunset. and the sunset. <laughs> our luce. <laughs> So beautiful people, we'll see you tomorrow. Ouch! Ciao! <laughs>
More. You know what would be cool in the future? To build something that is lighting out for Luce. Yeah. For Sara and this one for me. So I need to fit everything I want in here. It's nice not to have too much stuff uh, because it's easier to choose uh, and uh, you know, living minimal. We don't know what kind of weather we will be facing. So you need to have a little bit of everything. And I managed to fit everything for Lucia in this bag. So I have the summer wardrobe and here I have something that is more for the winter, for the fall. We also have two folding chairs folding table, Luce's bed down here, the stroller up here, and also the high chair for Luce. And then maybe other little things. Like yeah, we have plenty of space at the back here. I will show you how we organize the cabinet inside. If you want to show how we manage the space inside. See, let's go. A lot of people just love to put everything like this inside. Like this. It's easier. But yeah, it's easier, but you can fit less things. Mm -hmm. This is my personal opinion. So I know exactly what I have, where I have it. So when I need something, I just go there and we'll be fine. Okay, we also have plenty space. Up there, yes. they are still empty. You have this one, so this is my Luca, side. Sara. I put some Lucia stuff here. Yes. The thing that we use every day, you know, this we change Lucia several times a several day. Times a day. <laughs> yeah. Hi, say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi! <laughs> it's a mix between ciao and hi. Ciao! This was a ciao. ciao. For everyone asking if we speak with Luce in Italian or in English, both of them. So, <laughs> hopefully, she will be able to speak both languages, even more than two. Mm. Why not? Okay, now we have to say how much do we pay? For the van, Lucia, do you want to come here and sit with us? Yes, let's sit. Big question. Yes, uh, we promise you, we would tell you how much did we pay for this van. So... It was very, sorry to interrupt you, but it was very interesting to see the comments yeah. in the previous video. A lot of people were really close to the yes. right price. A lot of people very... Far. Far. <laughs> Some... Uh, uh, yeah, they... They got it. Yes. They got the price. Uh, so at the end, uh, this uh, this van was listed uh, for twenty thousand and five hundred euros. Uh, we managed to bring it home uh, for twenty thousand euros, uh, and uh, it was a huge, huge deal. Yes, we had definitely. to. We basically rushed there. We were the first one uh, yeah. who saw the van, and uh, and straight away we say, okay, yeah. we will buy it, uh, and uh, we did it pretty fast uh, because we knew. On the market i was checking every day and vans like uh, like this one uh, they were for about uh, thirty thousand euros yeah. so ten thousand euros more so i said to sarah we need to be fast and we we need to move uh, fast because uh, it will be sold in few days or, or in a few hours the owner he said to us that he received over four thousand requests so yes. we were luca was pretty good in yes, catching the deal and we were pretty good to run yes even after yeah. he sold it to us uh, people were offering uh, yes. more money 
they were like, uh, why did you take off the ad? Uh, did you sold it? Uh, I can offer so you. So fast. How oh, <laughs> yes. is it possible? Even the owner was like, oh, how is this possible? Uh, it's, it's all happening so fast. Like, yeah. uh, yes, yes, we want this van. We, are, we know what we want. Yes. Uh, and, uh, this is we, perfect. We, we want it as soon as possible. Yesterday and today we managed to fix uh, some, uh, some problems, uh, but now everything is working. Uh, we have no leakings. Uh, and uh, everything seems to be working we just need to use it uh, so and test it uh, and yes. drive it and leave it in a few days we will hit the road again we can't wait guys i'm feeling a little bit better uh, tomorrow is my last day of injections and it was so good to have you back Amore. yes and yeah, for really. me the same i'm uh, i'm so happy and grateful uh, especially after being so so bad uh, you really appreciate uh, every little thing because uh, yeah when you are in pain uh, yeah it's it's really bad absolutely and i would like to say to say a huge thank you to my mom she came here to help us Nonna laura. Nonna laura for the past few days because we are here alone as you know we don't have a nanny our families they all live far from lucky land lucky land is pretty isolated mm. so it was a huge help to have her around. She cooked for us. She helped me clean the house, do laundry. She did the injections, the shots to Luca. Yes. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, show it to us, smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a new video. Yeah. And please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. Because in the next episode, uh, we will be leaving Lucky Land, hitting the road, uh, direction south of Italy. The Italian word for today's episode or a, a sentence? A sentence it could be I feel better. Mi sento meglio. Non vedo l'ora di partire. I can't wait to leave. We love you, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us and we will see you on the next, next Sunday. See you next Sunday and remember la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Mm. Ciao beautiful people. Ciao. Wappalele! 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 Bye, ciao, ciao, ciao! Dun 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 d